today I'm going to show you a recipe that I'm going to do in my new Instapot. Every day in February I'm going to do a new dish that's quick, easy, and delicious. Today I happen to be doing pinto beans. And for this recipe we're going to need dried pinto beans, some andouille sausage, some salt pork, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some Tony Saturies, and some chili powder. And I'll put the amount of the ingredients below. The reason we're putting Indui sausage and salt pork in our beans is they make the beans have a meaty, robust flavor. And now we have to pick our beans. I just go through them and do a handful. And when I find something like this that I don't think is good to be in my beans, I set it there. And when I'm through picking my beans, I throw it away. And I'm going to rinse my beans four or five times and give them a good little scrub. Now we're going to add our beans to our Insta Pot. And we're going to follow that with our meat. Our, dry, our salt pork. And we just cut it in four little, but not all the way through the skin. And then we're going to add our andouille sausage. Now we're going to add our water, and I'm doing six cups of water. And then I'm going to add my other ingredients. Now you just put your lid on like this, and you turn it like this. And make sure you check your valve, because if it's not pressed where it'll steam, it'll just sit here while you water out. Now I'm going to turn it down to bean and chili. And I'm going to set it to one hour. It's on high pressure and no delay. Now I'll be back in an hour to check my beans and they should be done. Well, our beans are done and I've let them set for 20 minutes and let them just slow natural release. But I'm going to push this button and let off any extra pressure that hasn't escaped. Okay, our beans are done. And I'm going to all the pressure's off. And I'm going to take the lid off. Set it right here. And we're going to stir them up. And I'm going to put some in this bowl. They look really good. And they're so soft, look. Thank you for watching.